morning, Sunday morning everyone. Nick and Nikki here from Nick's Crossing. Welcome back to York County, Pennsylvania for another railroad adventure. Today they're doing a special event in Glenrock. It's a setup pop-up market and they're actually running the locomotives today as you guys just saw. That was X Pensy 6076 heading north past Glenrock. They're going to do a switching operation up there so the engine can actually go from the front of the consist of cars to the rear for visibility and safety reasons. But the next train will be stopping in Glenrock for a pop-up market. You can actually get a bite to eat, look around a little bit, do some sightseeing. But we're actually on the bike trail right now, the York Heritage Rail Trail, that runs from Cockeysville all the way up to the city of York. If you guys haven't been here before, I definitely recommend checking it out. And they also run live trains on weekends. They have number 17, American style locomotive. Also their GP9 6076, which you guys will be seeing a lot of today. So we actually parked uh, about a mile away from the town of Glenrock or the borough of Glenrock. And we're actually getting some exercise. We're gonna walk back and forth, but there are various parking places off the trail. So if you guys would like to check out either of these places, there's, I believe a parking lot in Glenrock, also one a little bit further north. So anyways, everyone, all aboard, here we go. All right, everyone, so you can see we've entered the borough of Glenrock. This is a trail sign here. And at one time, this would have had many tracks all through here. We're actually standing on uh, what would have been multiple tracks for a main line, at least two from what I've heard. But you can see how far back this rock was blasted back at one time. So I'd assume there'd be multiple rails in here, at least one, two, and three. But at one time it may have been centered somewhere over here and then other lines in here as well. All right guys, this is the other insulated rail. Here's an in, inside view of the inner of the eye rail. So all that green, there are insulated parts. The tie plate underneath is also insulated with some type of green paint. So that helps operating the signal. But we're actually here at the pop-up market. There's a uh, appears to be a book sale from the library. Got some water in the gauge there. We also have gill ice. Awesome, we'll probably end up getting some of that. But it looks like they got some rain this morning. A lot of rain. You can see this puddle. Pretty big puddle, a couple inches deep. Alright, so we're going to cross the tracks to get off the bike trail because sometimes the bikes are merciless. They like to hit pedestrians <laughs> and they don't stop. So we're gonna get over here, this nice station platform. You can actually hear, eh, I thought I heard it. There she is. And here's more of the market down here. Hey guys, that's pretty cool. Not every day do you get to see an original GP Pensy running on an original set of Pennsylvania Railroad tracks. So that is pretty cool. So they're gonna go down to New Freedom and the second train will actually be stopping here in Glenrock to uh, partake in the festivities down here. All right, everyone, so here is a really beautiful painting, um, really well done mural of the town of Glenrock here, the borough of Glenrock. It looks like at one time they had a switch tower in here. 
right in there. People uh, hanging out. It's like an impressionist style painting. It's really cool. And then here is the Glen Rock. Originally Rocks in Glen. Founded 1838. Right around the time of this railroad was chartered back in, guess what? 1838. Pretty amazing. All right, everyone, we ended up getting lunch at the Simply Local here in Glen Rock, located off of Water Street. I got a roast beef sandwich, which you guys can see right here. And then Nikki got the Hawaiian sandwich, which is on the round bun. Mine is the sandwich cut across. It's actually really, really good. If you guys are in town looking for a place to eat, definitely come out to Simply Local here in Glen Rock, Pennsylvania. I believe it was around $30, and that included two drinks, two entrees, two bags of chips, and two orders of the slaw. All right, guys, so here is 6076 coming into Glen Rock. People are hurrying across the tracks there. We have the flagger in place. We're just checking out the market that's here today and heard the train going, had the run out. This is the 1 p.m. train that left New Freedom at 1 p.m. It takes them about a half hour to get up here sometimes. And that's going to conclude this video in Glen Rock. Uh, the pop-up market was actually really cool. We got a couple of cool items, some fresh produce, a couple of novelty items, and also uh, some home fragrance stuff from uh, a couple of local farms. So instead of using that Lysol, we're gonna be using like a lavender spray. So just interesting um, oddities and also, like I said, produce, food, all here at the Glen Rock pop-up market. But anyways, um, you guys saw 6076 pull out of here. They're going back down to New Freedom. But if you guys would like to check out more action of the NCR uh, Northern Central Railway, definitely check out other videos on the channel that I can post down here in the description for the video. If you guys had a great time today and you're new to the channel, uh, please consider subscribing. Also give the video a like and a comment. Really helps out the channel. Until next time, everyone. Happy, happy railroading. railroading. See ya.